This season is brought to you by iCutter. Get your fixed cutter drill bit spot on. Consolidated Group. Quality gear for all your civil and mining projects. Plumbers Industries. For all your poly and water needs. And Com Systems. For all your surface and underground mining communications. Better call Com Systems, bro. Oh shit! Oh yeah! Fly out day, motherfuckers! Dan, hey, can you work today? Yeah, no, nah, I'm flying out today. Yeah, I'm gonna need you on site. Sort manager's coming to check our job today, and you're the only one VOC'd on the tipper. Yeah, I don't know, Dan. Like, I'm kind of. Well, I hope you can, because I just cancelled your flights. Yeah, just do another week, and I'll give you a paid RDO. You can get fuck eyed in the wet mess and spend the day choking your chook. Right up your alley. Yeah, that does sound good. Will you pass a breath though? Breath oh yeah. Beautiful. I'm parked at the end of the breezeway. Oh fuck. Yeah, tell me about it. This fucker's like honeymoon herpes. Turns up at the worst possible time. Right, I leaving now. Yeah, fuck off. You can drive. Yep. Yeah, I really probably Bushy. shouldn't. Yeah, we can come get you. Ah, g'day, Bones. What happened, Bushy? Truck's fucked. Meant to show Bones here the new route to mining and she's leaking more air than a hungover arsehole. Speaking of arseholes, aren't you meant to be flying out this morning, deep fried? Uh, you know you got a third, fourth and fifth gear there? Yeah, this is 80 here. Why are you doing 40? Oh, shit, Bushy's on to me. Yeah, no, nah, I've got this. Yeah, just open your eyes real wide and be nice to Bushy and she won't dog you out. Yeah, no, nah, well, just being cautious, Bushy. Got a lady on board, you know. A lady that can steer a road train in reverse better than your skinny ass can handle a little ute. Yeah, no arguments there, Bushy. You're the queen of the B-doubles, all right. Is this cunt cracking onto Bushy? I think this cunt's cracking onto me. Where the fuck am I? Have I passed it? How are you getting on with that safety night, Bushy? Fucking nightmare. Last time I volunteered to plan anything with those useless cunts in the wet mess. Yeah, we're going to need a good crowd, too. Oh, no, nah, here it is. Thank fuck we made it. Cheers, Dan. Yeah, no worries. See you at the safety shindig. Yeah, I'll be there for sure. Be good to have a drink, Bushy. Right. There he goes again. I am due a service, I suppose. Righto, bony ass. Might have a job for you. Well, yeah, come on. Oh, fuck. You don't have your swipe card. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've got hammers sharper than you. You'll have to take that lonely brain cell of yours back to camp. I'll say you're picking up some PPE from the airport. Well, actually, there is some PPE at the airport. Yeah, go pick that up, too. Oh, I'll grab me some breakfast. Get some of those little sausages. Oh, Cup man, there's a lot of information. Yeah, I'll just do that word Actually, association thing. Airport, sausages, because planes at the yeah, airport is like yard today. shape of a sausage, but oh, like with wings on it. Yeah, too easy. Yeah, so definitely don't forget that. Righto, I'll see you on the job. Fuck. Go on home, British soldiers, go on home. Have you got no fucking homes of your own for 800 years? Sausages Airport Now why did I need to get How are you? Jeez I thought you forgot me Nice to meet you saw Killian Like sitting in a fucking bug fire out there Then I saw the PAS lock on the car Thank God I says How are you getting on? Ah uh, yeah uh, Coming out of it now Who are you? Where'd you come from? Killian From Kilkenny Ireland Kilkenny Like the drink? Yeah Kilkenny Like the drink Ah sure But for Guinness myself But sure it's grand yeah, but like, who are you working for? PIS. Well, labour hire. But they said someone from PIS will pick me up. So I suppose working for PIS I am. Right, wouldn't surprise me. I thought there was something else. Go ahead. 
How far away are you, cuz? We need you, bro. Dan signed you onto the permit. I don't have VOC, but Dan said to start anyway because the mine manager wants to check it out. Like, just until you... What? I'll oh, be careful, man, though, eh? Well, that tip has got a few issues, man. The fucking tray sensor used to go off all the time. Be like, meh. You know, like, since we dropped that boulder in it and we bent the chassis. So I pulled the wire to kill it. It was so fucking annoying. Oh, yeah, and if, like, the tray gets stuck up, you just need to, like, hop on the brakes to unlock the ramp. Actually, like, I'll be there soon, so just don't drive it and I'll, I'll show you through it. Ready, Kilkenny? But, bro. Yeah, that would have been good information ten minutes ago, bro. Will I call Dan? Fuck no, bro. Operators are on shift change. Don't think anyone's seen us, cuz. Um, uh, the tray's still up. Shit. Deep fried said I can just jump on the brakes. It's still up, cuz. Shit, bro. Probably just need to do it harder, eh? Um, cars, there's a big puddle of oil coming out. I'll just drive around and spread it real thin. Oh, shit, bro, he's here already. Deep fried. The mine manager, bro, let's run, bro. Shit, no, we, we can't, he's seen us. He's seen me driving, cars, fuck. Um, is deep fried's VOC in the glove box? Yep, sweet. Ah, uh, but there's a photo of deep fried on it. How can I look like that pasty fuck? Sunscreen. I just so in, bro. There's this. Zinc cream, sweet as. Um, this is for tropical jock itch. Uh, bro, deep fried ball rash cream all over my face. What about the hydraulic oil? We'll say we're going for a safety walk. Quick, bring all the paperwork. Here they are, the PIS boys. We just checked out your waste pile. Good progress. Hi, thanks. What's going on, cunt? Excuse me? I'm Tommy Baker, man. Okay. Um, we're just doing a safety walk to, um, check, um, there's, there's no overhead obstacles. Well done, good thinking. You can see there, someone's obviously hidden in the past. Dickhead can't. Are you okay? Yeah, he, he just gets, um, frustrated by, um, uh, unsafe behaviour. Um, he, here's our paperwork if you want to look. V.O.C. Tommy Baker. Uh, it's okay, you fellas seem to know what you're doing, I, I'll leave you to it. Fucking oath, mate. Sweet as bro, totally got away with it, eh? Jeez, that was close. Couple of good workers right there. The Kiwi guy, Tommy, with the white shit all over his face is a bit of a strange one. But uh, have a look at him, out doing a safety walk for hazards. And their shirt sleeves are correctly rolled down. Right, you know what? I'm going to give them the safety prize. Yep, two paid holidays in Bali coming your way, boys. Hey, sorry, I just had to take Cobsy here for a shit. I'm Tommy, Tommy Baker on the permit. I'm driving the tip out. VOC's in the truck. I see. Right, I listen up. Safety alert. An email's been circulating containing a picture of Janet from HR's birthday cake with a penis and scrotum resting upon it. Counselling is being offered to all those who ate some of Janet's birthday cake. Investigation is ongoing. This is totally unacceptable. Blah, blah, blah. Suck shit, Janet, you mole. <laughs> Don't you fucking laugh. You have no idea the shitstorm you've created. I'm going to need arsehole surgery after this tipper incident. Mine manager of all people. You told us to get started, cuz. Well, he wasn't meant to be there till Smoko. And don't you start. I don't know what the fuck you do to that tipper. Needs a whole new tipping ram and hydraulic pump. Totally fucked it. Yeah, it was like that when we found a bro, eh, hey, Jack? Jeez, there's some dodgy operators around here, bro. Well, until this new ram gets here, we're just going to have to scrape it out with an excavator. Yeah, no, won't that look a bit dodgy? We can't charge it out if it's not on the job. I don't need advice from you. You can't even get breakfast without fucking it up. I asked for big breakfast, you get me two containers of sausages. If the stress doesn't give me a heart attack, the fucking sausages will. Sausages! Righto, jobs are. First up, we need everyone to get ready for the safety audit in the yard in a few hours. Tommy picked up the portable shower and some new PPE for you to unpack and set up. All hands on deck. Sorry, Dan, did you get my email about Killian going with the operators now? Hi, Angela. Email? No, uh, no, I'm still trying to remember my password. I can get another guy in tomorrow for you. Oh, Kilkenny. I was wondering where he came from. Actually, can we have him? You lock it here with the contractors, don't you, Kilkenny? Ah, uh, sure. Happy to help wherever so I am. 
Uh, well, there's probably much better job security and better pay if you go with these. I wish I was named after a drink. Dan Daniels. Yeah, the more the merrier to get this yard ready for this fucking audit by these snitching, nitpicking, brown nose and wanker little auditing flogs. Welcome aboard, Kilkenny. Uh, Killian. You have no idea what you've just done. And you got another one there for us. I've no idea who this cunt is. Hi, I'm here to do the safety audit. What can I do, sir? Right, so Dan's got geezer stalling the inspector in the crib room while we set up the PPE in the safety shower. Fridge, four degrees, perfect. Right, so why four degrees? Why not like six degrees? Well, I'm glad you asked. Good for you for taking an interest. You see, with harmful bacteria, four degrees doesn't inhibit microgrowth, but rather slows down all the chemical reactions and slows... The only problem is I got you from the airport and not PPE. And first I've heard about the portable safety shower. Wasn't quite with it at the time. Hang on. I'm pretty sure the spark has got one we can borrow. Copy, Francis, shift electrician. Can we get you in the mill now, please? <sighs> Copy. Uh, I don't think this is portable at all, at all. No. Yeah, no, it's just a few bolts. We'll stick on them, it's upfitting. Too easy. Grab the ute and some PPE and we're gone. Right. Uh, what's PPE? Personal protective equipment, gloves and safety glasses and shit. Fuck's sake, they were going to make you an operator. You fucked up there, killer. Could have had a steady gig doing fuck all. Can't believe we got away with that order, eh? Nice work, killer. Come on, let's get it back. I can't be caught stealing gear on my second day at all at all. We're fucked, lad. Yeah, it's not ideal. Yeah, copy all the guys involved with the incident yesterday. Cars, Jack, Kilkenny and Deep Fright. You've all got drugs and alcohol now. Um, just alcohol for me, thanks. Champion cows. Ah, uh, so just fill it up halfway. Toilets to your right? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Too easy. Hey, what the fuck, man? Oh, haven't you heard the new rules? All urine tests need to be witnessed now after an incident with somebody trying to use a condom full of somebody else's urine. Oh, fucking geezer. Um, think quick. Um, I'll just pull my cock out and pretend I can't go. Hmm. What? Uh, sorry? What's that? Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Nothing out here. Hmm. What the fuck, man? You're enjoying this. M Mr. Baker, I can assure you this is a professional operation. Uh, we, we do this several times a day. Hmm. This is too weird, man. I can't go anyway. Oh, man, I'm actually about to piss myself. I've got this, eh? I'll take the cup, run to the toilet before he gets there, rip a bigger hole in the dinger to fill up the cup quick. By the time he gets there, I'll just be pissing the rest in the toilet like normal. Yeah, right, eh? Ready now? Fantastic. Come on, come on, prick and rip. rip big hole, rip you bastard. And I've stabbed my dick. Hmm. So, am I gone? Yeah, that's what they want. I'm going to book you. Fuck this joint anyway, this is bullshit. The only reason I had dirty piss was because I was meant to be flying out. But I did the righty by you by staying an extra week. I wasn't even part of this incident. You saw me onto the permit and I wasn't even on site. What kind of dodgy shit show are you running? Is that the JHA? You know what these are good for? No one fucking reads them. What's the point? You have to sign them anyway. Stop it. Are these your clear safety glasses? You know what these are good for? Righto, that's enough. Try wearing these fuckers at a steamy tag. You may as well have us blindfolded. 
You know what wheel chocks are good for? Well, you're going to shove wheel chocks up your day. Yes, I fucking am. OK, they're a bit rough, but they're good for running the cunts over because you never remember the stupid fucking things are there. Is that roast beef from camp? You know what that overcooked dry shit's good for? You're not wiping your ass. I'm a smoker. <laughs> Stop rubbing your ring on everything. What I was about to say was I'm booking you into group therapy. I've pulled every string. What? I told him you need another chance, and rather than sacking you, we could look at counselling. Yeah, I made up some shit about you having a hard time at home and that you're just a bit fucked in the head at the moment. Uh, thanks. Look, I'm in the shit too with this permit thing, which I know is what dragged you into the shit. And, you know, we, we're struggling to get people. we spent a fortune on tickets. Group sex? Group therapy. It's quite different. Do, do the classes, get a urine sample, and we're allowed to fly you back to work. Right. Um... Uh, about the... You fly out in an hour. Take everything you just wiped your ass on and go. Roger. Hello and welcome. I'm your counsellor, Shannon. How are we all feeling? Now, come on. You can do much better than that. Today is the first day of the rest of your happy, drug-free and alcohol-free lives. How are we all feeling? Bit shit. Yeah, I need a shit too. Well, over the next four days, I'm going to try... No... I will show you the real joy of life. Not from drugs, not from alcohol, no. But from a place of love. See this? My 10 year medallion. A full decade with no drugs or alcohol. And I've never felt so good. And you can do it too. Think of me as a friend in a vault of trust. Chime in anytime. What's the fastest way to get weed out of your system? Good question. Well, exercise, water, vitamins, good diet are the obvious, but that's not really my area of expertise. I'd rather we focus uh, on... Which vitamins? Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Oh, my God up on that throne, yeah, so I'm never alone. So, this time, Wes can go first. Wes, what's something that makes you happy? that has nothing to do with drugs and alcohol. Uh, something you find you can really want, Wes, and really break it down and think about what it is that makes you so happy to drive that want. Um, it's a bit embarrassing to say. Fault of trust, Wes. Well, I'm so happy to be married to my soulmate. I, I really want to be with my missus. Uh, she, she has a... She has a soft little touch when she holds my shoulder in her sleep. But then she'll wake and, and like bite me on the back of the neck. She, she likes to sit facing me and just ever so slightly tickle my nose with her bare hard nipples. The way she cups my... Okay, thanks Wes. Um, Tommy, what do you really want? Um, I want... To also root this guy's missus. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Oh, I'm God up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone. Come on, anything. I'll start then. I would say a con is cost. And a pro is temporary confidence. And it makes you talk to people. Right, social. And a better dancer. Okay. Better at picking up? Yeah, lasts longer too. Well, that depends funnier. on... Makes it funnier. Oh, so true. And what about the cons? Lose your job. Good. More, more creative. Well, that's a pro. Yeah, pro. Had nothing for a bong once, so I ended up hollowing out a banana. It was a goddamn work of art. Gives you better stories. Okay. Wes, you got a con? Stress relief. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, I'm God up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to box me in. I may. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time. Hey, guys, I'm all done. Just finished up the counseling. Fly back tomorrow night. See ya, Tommy. Yeah, see ya, Wes, you dirty dog. Hey, catch you tonight. No, yeah, we all passed our piss test at the doctor's this morning, so we're doing a bit of a graduation bash tonight to celebrate. That dude can get the cheapest pills, eh? Gonna go off, bunch of loose cunts. 
Hey bro, what's the deal with the smoke coming out of the silencer on the vac truck? Are we just doing trenches for the sparkies? Dan's bringing the diesel mechanic, but has that ever happened? Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Fucking sparkies. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, I got up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to box me in. I'm Mayweather, it's on, yeah. Now they ask where I'm at. Making hits that line back. I'm the old no, Chriso. They've only been running the vacuum for an hour, but they reckon there's black smoke coming out of the silencer. But they need to get going with this job, so I'll just tell them to keep running until you get there for a look. Here they are. Isn't that where the old sulphur stockpile was? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sparkies need to run cables through there. Christ, you'd want to be sure they're not sucking straight sulphur. The slightest bit of static and... Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Fucking Sparkies. What on earth just happened? I thought this was meant to be non-destructive digging. I don't know what happened, cuz. Oh shit, Dan's coming. Run, bro, he really doesn't like Sparkies, eh? What in fuck's name's going on here? That's the second truck fuck this week. You need to take better care. Don't you fucking start. My old mother works harder than you lot. And she's half blind, deaf in one ear and has an asshole full of hemorrhoids that'd put an African baboon to shame. You didn't tell us we'd be sucking straight fucking sulphur. I didn't know Of what... course you didn't. You're too busy brushing your hair and sitting around fingering each other's assholes. You overpaid soft cocks wouldn't know a hard day's work unless it involved three pingers and a dick party. You know I'm not actually gay. I have a wife and three kids at home. But Gavin is. Who? Huh? Guilty. Oh, right, sorry. No, I didn't mean... So was Sharon. And I'm surrounded by cops. Uh, no, right. You know, if you're actually gay, that's different. I just meant, like, in a soft cock way. N not that it means gay guys have soft cocks. D probably the opposite, I suppose. You seem to get a lot more than us straight guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got gay friends. Yeah, funny cunts. Well, well the guys are. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, either. I, I love lesbians. I, I mean, like... Not in a porno way. Like, I realise they're probably not real lesbians and just, you know, into drugs and cash. No, r real lesbians are better. Um, yeah, they're so, um, politically aware. Just go. Right. You're such a cliché. Come on, deep fried. Hello? Hey, Tommy, it's Dan. Oh, man, did I miss my flight again? No, you had the afternoon flight. But, yeah, I cancelled it. Oh, thank fuck. No, I need you to go pick up a vac truck rental and drive it up here. You won't have enough driving now, so you'll need to do a night and bumfuck nowhere on the way up. Rental joint's expecting you in an hour or so. Yeah, too easy. Fuck. No, he cancelled it, cuz. I've got to drive up a new vac truck. No, I ended up finding my pants up a flagpole at the surf club. So lucky, eh? You still have my wallet in them. Last thing I remember, I was doing lines with the instructor. Uh, I've got to go, cuz. All good? The operator's manual's on the front seat. Make sure you read it. Yeah, too easy. She's a brand spanker. You take extra special care, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Nice and quiet. Finally some sleep. G'day mate, do you know who I speak to to get a room? Oh, thanks. Hey mate, would I be able to get a room tonight? Uh, yeah, but just so you know, they're really shit, aren't they, Scotty? Right, well, I don't have much of a choice. You're not from around here, are you? Is anyone from around here? 
Oh, thanks, but yeah, I'm good, eh? Yeah, had a massive one last night. I woke up on a beach with no pants on. Oh, you mean like hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah, my work. Right, eh? Cheers, Scotty. Oh, I've got to get up early, so. Um, suppose I should keep you company for one more? Okay, one more help me sleep, eh? Scotty, I feel like I've known you for years, eh? Like, champion. Okay, like, now I've really got to go, eh? Rosso? Here's your key and earplugs. Earplugs? Yeah, the ringers will be in soon. You'll need them. Woohoo! 23 rums, Russo! Scotty and his mates pay for nothing! Come on, boys! Yeehoo! Get him up! Is that? Oh man, the sun's rising. Fuck. Tommy. Who's that? It's me. Where's his missus? Wes told me all about you. Right. I thought you might come for me. Do you want to sit facing me? I thought you'd never ask. He can all watch, bro. Cuz. Ah, fuck it. I'm dreaming, eh? Fuck! Fuck off. Yep, deep fried. Where are you? What? You've got to be shitting me. No, I'm serious. That was like a big red, biggest root I ever saw. Must have been like nine foot tall. A- and a camel, like a big one. Yeah, they were together. So, yeah, I swerved and kind of rolled the truck a bit. A bit? You fucked a third truck. Yeah, no, nah, well, um, yeah, she's fucked. Fucking unbelievable. More shit to sort out. Where are you now? Right, I'll send Cuz pick you up. Fuck's sake. Where'd Cuz go? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he went to get the pipe stand off Dazza. Here's Dazza here. This do you, boys? Just careful. I only gave the worlds a once over with the grinder. Beautiful. Cheers, Dazza. Nice work. G'day, Dan. How are you? Shit house. Robbo, we've been told we gotta to have a leading hand on crew now. So you're leading hand. It just means you gotta take responsibility for everything and you get paid an extra dollar ten an hour. Oh well thanks, Dan. I, I I appreciate the opportunity and I promise to do it to the best of my ability. Yeah, it's nice to get some recognition and you know be rewarded for all my Yeah, where's Cuz? Um maybe he's gone to the shitter. Maybe. Well you should know, because he's your responsibility now. Uh, it's okay anyway. Daz has got us a stand. You know, we've got her all hot bolded. Yeah, myself and Kilkenny will get her down, no props. Righto, good to go. Hello, boys. Just here for a friendly chat. Can I see your take fives? Thank you. Carry on. I'll just stand out of the way and do safety observations. Righto. Oh my, stop the job, Con- confined space, S- suspended load, no no permits, gloves. A chill out brew, just having a little lie down cuz. Shoelaces, se- se- sleeves rolled down, safety glasses, manual handling, window seats, window seats, stand down, stand down. This is bullshit brew, the pipe was open to fresh air, I was barely a metre in. Sure he wasn't even in the pipe and I still got blamed for not intervening. Didn't have a fucking notion where he was. Getting sick of these drug tests already. You had to do a piss test? Yeah, we all did. Leading hand gets blamed too, apparently. Yeah, this is fucked. We all got to report to HR first thing. Actually, you got a joint, cuz? Best time to have one straight after a piss test, eh? Nah, man, I got to get off it, eh? Thank fuck I wasn't there today. I'll be gone for sure. These piss tests are getting out of control, eh? Nah, I got to clean out. I'd better just do the right thing tonight and get pissed. Go easy though, cuz. 
You know you always drink quicker when you're not smoking weed, eh? Can I count you in for the safety trivia, boys? Ten meat trays up for grabs. Four good blokes. Shit, I think I promised Bushy I'd buy a drink for some of this safety gig. Well, I'll just do it when she finishes the trivia. So I was just like, see you later, fuckheads. Brah, 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 brah. Right, just do us a favour and shut the fuck up. Here's my room here. Right, oh, well done on the safety night, Bushy. What, you're not coming? <laughs> yeah, as if. What was all that shit in the car? Just twat teasing, were we? Hey? You've shown a complete lack of respect for site rules. You're in a confined space without a permit. That's two of our golden rules broken right there. You then refer to our safety officer as an unskilled, fat, dopey fuck. As a work group, you've disregarded your duty of care for yourselves and others, and the leadership of the leading hand was inadequate, reckless, and abusive to others. Ah, oh, come on, Janet. It was already missing when I was made leading hand. Therefore, I see no other option that to terminate the employment of the work group. Who? Hey, you fucking what? And you said this rue was nine foot tall. At least, I'd say. And there was also a camel and a donkey. That's right. Must have been a warring up. Right, yeah, no, I, I'd say you're right there, Barry. OK, well, thanks for reporting it, and we're just glad you're not injured. Do you need any time off to recover from, from the shock? Would that be, um, paid time off? Paid, of course. Right, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite shaken, actually. Right. Yeah, that'll work out well. That way you can do your drug and alcohol test back at the doctors in town, because we don't have any here. Given the number of vehicle incidents we've had lately, uh, best to keep this one internal, being off-site and all. Um, well, I've, I've only just got back, so I think I'm OK to push through, actually. Right, eh? So we have the other issue of leading hand. Yeah, I heard Robbo was leading hand. Robbo got sacked this morning, along with Cousin Kilkenny. What? We've been quite impressed with your incident reporting and we'd like to make you leading hand. Right, thanks Barry. Yeah, I, I think I'd be good at that, all right. How does this work? He failed a drug test, rolls a truck and gets promoted. Welcome to mining, mate. Speak. We'll have to get more six-inch hose, mate. Yeah, it's on the side of the truck. You're letting the air conditioning out. Yeah, we used it all. None in the yard, either. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? Right, oh, get in. We'll go for a drive. How are you getting on? Yeah, good now. Just had to pick up some more hose. Where'd you get that hose from? Just borrowed it from the acid skid. Fuck's sake. Make sure it goes straight back. Don't let any bosses see you. Um, do you think we should just put it back now? They're on the warpath with sacking people. I, I really need this job. Well, maybe you Melbourne boys shouldn't piss all your money away on craft beer and avocados. Hope you're showing the boys the job. Yeah, they've been doing quite well. This isn't all blowjobs and party pies. Leading hand means you lead by example. Yeah, of course I am. Look. What's Dan doing? I don't know, mate. I've been here over a year and never seen him work before. You deep-fried ball sack. Shit, it's acid. There's safety showers over there. No, they're alarmed. Get the hose. Ah, it burns. Ah, keep spraying. Shit. In the ute. Fucking 50 pairs of 87 long and fuck all else. Who does the ordering around? Oh yeah, that's me. Unless you're fucking enormous. Yep. What? HR? 
What the? Yeah, okay. I'll be there in a few minutes. Hi, Janet. What's going on? Robert? Take a seat, Dan. Dan, we've had a complaint about you exposing yourself to a female member of staff. What? No, I just had a problem with my pants. The report that we got was that you were in fact not wearing any pants or underwear. Yeah, it was a uniform malfunction. It's also come to light that you recently discriminated against trade workers on the grounds of their sexual orientation. What? No, that was just banter. I, I, I told them how I'm friends with the gays. The gays. It was reported that you said it in an angry manner. You're too busy sitting around fingering each other's assholes. Yeah, but he wasn't gay. I'm afraid you leave us no choice. Instant dismissal. This is bullshit. I'm contesting this. Wait. It's him. What? The birthday cake, Scrotum. You know what? Fuck you, it was me. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky HR fuckheads. Hope you enjoyed your cake, Janet. No, this this one's much bigger. Well, yeah, of course I'm going to give myself half a mongrel for the photo. Right, no, that's that's right then. No, you, you can pull your pants up now. Right. What did Barry want with you? Yeah, Dan's been sacked. You boys are looking at the new supervisor. What? Yeah, it's like I keep telling you boys. If you work hard and... Copy Tommy. Supervisor Tommy here. You need to report to the medical centre for your drug and alcohol for the new contract. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, this is bullshit. Shite. Any of your lads are able to get us a job, cos? Just get folding so far, bro. What did you guys do, Giza? Yeah, we dropped back the acid hose and the safety guy saw us, which wouldn't have been so bad, but Jack pulled the safety shower all over him. It was worth it, mate. Yeah, I didn't want to stay out there without you guys anyway. PIS needs to be taught a lesson. They're screwed without us now. They can't just replace us. So we're doing a bit of a recruitment drive. So I'm thinking you can be supervisor, you're leading hand, and you're on crew. Hear that? Where's I'm supervisor? Can I get some bigger pants? <laughs>